Hi folks, Tom Berger here. I'm at the LA Art Show. This is January 22nd, 2022. So I came here last night for a preliminary review. And today I thought I'd make a short videotape to show friends and family uh, what's going on at the show. Observation number one is the show is much smaller than the summer show that we uh, actually exhibited in. And of course, that was smaller than the annual show the year before. So reason, uh, COVID is certainly uh, part of the problem. Restrictions in Los Angeles are part of the problem. And of course, the growing expense of being able to participate in a show like this is part of the problem. There were times at this show when a live model was sit here, but this is a sculpture and uh, quite convincing in its detail, including the water droplets on it. These photographs are printed in a lenticular fashion so that when you look at them, uh, they have a 3D quality, uh, almost like a hologram. For instance, this leg standing here looks like it's sticking out of the wall at me a little bit. So I've seen this technique on uh, computers, which is pretty cool. I didn't know you could do it with a print. So uh, this artist is doing something pretty clever here that uh, I thought I would show you all. And so this is uh, typical of the uh, contemporary art one expects to find here, the LA Art Show. John Revese is here again with his Wyoming Working Group. Uh, he has this collection of Jackson Pollock paintings uh, that was evidently put together by Jackson himself in the mid-1950s. And there's a lot of controversy on these, but uh, you know, from what I've seen of Jackson Pollock and talking to John, uh, these certainly look authentic to me. And you know, we may just look out and uh, have one of these on display at the Slope Oak this year, the last weekend of September, 2022. This is the artwork of uh, Josh Universe. Uh, Josh was introduced to me by Andrew Berger, and uh, I think they must have met in Santa Cruz, would be my guess. Uh, does very original stuff, uh, very, very contemporary. And I've talked to him about, you know, thinking about doing images that have a little bit of a west of the 2022 flair to them. They also have an artist in this gallery named Stephen Morrell, who does these very interesting uh, figuratives of, of females. So, interesting art. Yeah, I'm showing this. The uh, artist at this booth has got some interesting work where his paintings are on everyday utensils like paintbrushes and shovels, axe heads and so on. But what I'm really showing here is, is this seems to be the new way of posting the price on art is with these uh, codes. So something to think about in the future. So realism of the Southwest, but uh, done with high dynamic range uh, colorations. Uh, the top one kind of is reminiscent of Naomi Brown's uh, paintings last year here, but uh, these are photographs. This is the uh, underwater work of uh, Alex Schur, gentleman I've gotten to know over the uh, last couple of years and uh, whose work I admire. Uh, so I'm glad to see him here and I hope he sells this year. As I recall, this was our outer wall of our 12 by 16 booth last year, facing the uh, food court area. And this is what's on there this year. Oh, I gotta get a new name? This is savory fine art of uh, Beverly Hills or Hollywood. And these are all originals of uh, art that, uh, of artists that we used to carry in, in Seaside Gallery, but of course we carried the Chiclays. Some of these are spectacular and they represent really the only realism or Western art, if you will, uh, here in the LA Art Show. Yeah, and this is art by uh, Bonnie Maris, uh, Wildlife Western Art. Uh, the one of the two wolves at the bottom, I think I may have seen at the Autry Show years ago. So again, uh, she represents here the only Western art, and the only really representational art in the LA Art Show. 
evidently Ray's uh, has a gallery in New York as well as uh, the one in New Orleans, which is usually here. But again, you know, very high quality art. This is legacy art, uh, not contemporary art, uh, definitely collectible. Some of it is, you know, very interesting type of stuff. Uh, for some reason, this one really attracts me. A lot of the uh, seaborne art. Ever wonder what to do with your old matchbox cars from your youth? Well, here's an idea. Put them together and make a painting. So general views uh, of the show, a lot of open space uh, here this year, a lot of the galleries, this is Al Bend Gallery, uh, they have some nice figuratives and they have some nice landscape art, uh, we'll go in here and look in a minute, but you can see just as I sweep around the, the amount of open space that's here to uh, fill the South Hall of the Los Angeles Convention Center. So if you look for it, there is some realism here um, and some Western art as in these landscapes in a Ben Gallery. And each year they do a, a set of these little miniatures, which is kind of interesting. Uh, not everybody has the wall space for somebody really large. And some of them are pretty uh, thoroughly done. I mean, this one definitely got a three-dimensional quality to it. They're all rendered quite well. And, you know, they're a little expensive for the size that they are, 500 to 900 bucks. But it's an interesting approach to uh, presenting art to the public. I like these uh, 12 inch by 12 inch figuratives uh, where the model is posed against what appears to be a graffiti background or a cartoony type background. I think they're colorful and they're interesting and they remind me of uh, some of the work that I'm doing right now. I'm kind of drawn to uh, portraits where the person sitting for the portrait looks directly at you out of the painting or out of the photograph. This is a great example. This sculpture uh, reminds me very strongly of the corporate ladder. You're looking down, all you see is smiling faces, but looking up. So, this is my favorite Western piece at this year's LA Art Show. Uh, well executed buffalo. Only one of its kind, and uh, looking good. We're in Arcadia Gallery, and they have moved back to New York City from Santa Monica and Los Angeles. Uh, they've been out here for, I guess, about 10 years. They always carry very interesting art. I'm drawn to uh, urban landscapes or city scenes like these. These are of New York. Uh, they're done by Sung Eun Kim, and they're oils, uh, but they're so precisely done they have a photographic look to them. They're, they're really quite beautiful. And Jeffrey Wong's work. Uh, Again, you know, executed with realism, but uh, totally uh, fantasy.
So I believe these same paintings were here last year with the red dots on them, just as we show here. And some of the others I've taken, I remember seeing last year as well. The crowds are definitely better here today, uh, Saturday. It's about 1.30. It was pretty sparse Friday afternoon. This work definitely reminds me of Fred Teakin, uh, who was in the show two years ago, I guess. We also have him in the gallery. This is not a Fred Teakin work, but it's very similar uh, to the style that he did. Sculpture is usually not a strong point of the LA Art Show, and this year is no exception. Uh, this is one example. But the uh, glass work of Nathan Katzoff certainly, uh, in my mind, qualifies as sculpture. That was to be on the wall, but it's three dimensional. And it's very attractive. So. kind of different, so. And one of the attractions of this sort of art is light not only reflects off of it, but transmits through it, uh, leaving the pattern on the wall behind. So, very, very interesting stuff. So, uh, originals, uh, Calder, Gasso, Cool. Really beautiful art. These are uh, created photographically, but they are superpositions of images numbering 80 to 120 or more, closely aligned, uh, held in sharp focus, and they make really interesting expressionistic art, I guess is what I would say. Well, here's sculpture at the LA Art Show. Lots of open space. These wooden sculptures by uh, Boris Trillian are really very intriguing. Um, evidently they're not for sale. They're on display here. But, uh, boy, there's a lot going on in, in all of them. And, uh,
lots of references to other artists. Beautifully done. It's a type of artwork I think anybody would be proud to have just because it's so unique. Some of the abstract art is deceptively simple, but attention grabbing. And Michelle O makes your police record uh, and turns it into attractive art. Each one of those is unique. So I'm going to end on some artwork that I kind of associate with the Los Angeles Art Show over the uh, two decades that I've been coming. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this art, it's just not necessarily uh, my flavor. Uh, when you're a member of the California Art Club and you run an art show like the Slowpoke, the Art of the West, um, this stuff is kind of startling, but people like it. So anyway, there's a quick overview uh, of the LRA Art Show in January 22nd, 2022. Hope you enjoyed it.